In this video, you will learn how to stake out a single point with your Icon Field solution. This is the most basic use of an Icon Field Rover when preparing a job site for construction, so you must become confident in doing this. Stake out single points is a very basic use of the Rover solution. The staked out points are often marked with a wooden stake in the ground and we use them when building or constructing an object. This video is a very basic stakeout introduction, so we will stake out two points where the foundation for light poles should be. Here we show you the principles using very simple example data, but the data you will encounter on job sites will most likely be more advanced. First, let us agree on the difference between measure and stakeout. We measure what is built or exists. We stake out what is yet to come or be built. We start in the home menu of Icon Field, confirm we are in the correct project, like a road, and that the job is day one. We select Stakeout. Remember to check for good coordinate quality, the correct pole height, and measure mode, which you can learn about in the video Measure Points in Leica Icon Field. To begin staking out the first point, tap on it. The arrows will now guide you to the point. They will also show the current distance to the point. We move the rover towards the position of the point while ignoring the height. When we are within 2 meters of the point, the view changes to a bullseye view, making it easier to find the point. Within 50 centimeters from the point, the bullseye zooms in to the inner circle to give even more accurate guidance. When you are within the horizontal tolerances of the point, you mark the spot on the ground and hammer down a wooden stake. Set the wooden stake firmly in the ground and as vertical as possible. Now we have staked out the horizontal position of the point and marked it with a stake. In some cases, points have no usable elevation information, but in this exercise we have. A valid elevation deviation is shown in the information bar. To stake out the elevation, there are several ways to do this with a rover. Here's one way to do it. Place the rover vertically on the top of the stake. Note down the elevation deviation, for example, plus 10 centimeters. Using a ruler, measure these 10 centimeters down from the top of the stake. Mark this place on the stake. Remember to write on the stake what the marking means. We recommend storing the point to document that you have staked this point out and the accuracy of it. Press Measure. We have now staked out and documented the position of the first light pole foundation to come. Automatically, we have entered the map view and we have a small green check mark on the already staked out point. To engage the next point, tap on it. But in this case, Icon Field cannot determine which element to select, so it presents a list to choose from. The elements are sorted by increasing distance from the tapped place. We can filter by element type to make it easier to find the correct point. We select the point we want to stake out. Again, when we are within 2 meters of the point, the view changes to a bullseye view, making it easier to find the point. If you find it hard to navigate without the map view, we can split the screen. From the map handler, press on the View panel. Select Multi-View Config. Select how you want to split the screen. We will select the first option that split the screen in half. Now we can see the map view and the bullseye at the same time. This can make it easier for you to navigate to the point. When the position is within the tolerances, put the stake in the ground. Place your pole on the top of the stake and mark the height deviation if needed. Press Measure to document the staked out position. We have now staked out two points for light pole foundations. Let's generate the stakeout report that will be a part of our entire as built documentation. Press Home to return to the Home menu. Press Reports. Select the report type, Stakeout. Make sure that the correct job and export format is selected. 
Press OK. A preview of the report is displayed. This will document the key information on the staked out points where the most important information is about deviations and CQ values. This will document which points have been staked out and will create transparency through the quality assurance. Press OK to generate the report. Select the destination. In this example, we select the USB key. You can rename the report, but in this example, we keep the generated file name. Press OK. That's it. You have learned how to stake out points in 2D and mark the height on the stake. As the logical next step, you may want to watch a video about staking lines and arcs.